again, he's literally gone straight for a wee. Very, very good wee side, poo side. Not good at all. So, I've had to wash him down. So, <laughs> oh dear, I dried him down with a towel. That had poo on it. That mat on the top of the bins had poo on it. It's been washed down. He's had poo on him. The trays had poo all over it multiple times through the night. <laughs> And he just started chewing this in the garden on a little kid's toys. Because <laughs> we've got kids, we can't just let him go anywhere. Yeah, so that's a nice little corner for the kids and the top gardens for the kids, really. Be my mistake for running him around there. But I thought he'd done his wee already because he had this morning. He's always eating stuff. There we are, it's the first meal of the day. Been too bothered by it. It's good. Should we go out for a little ride, matey? What this is. Is an electric unicycle. And they're going to carry you. I've done thousands of miles on these. And part of the reason why we chose your breed is because you can run when you're older. We are trying riding along on the electric unicycle, but with a little doggy. Well, that went quite successful. Okay, he's trying to do a poo in the garden, which is brilliant, and in the right corner as well. Come here, look at that, look. Oh, look. Do what we watched on the net, which just make this a nice place, because it hasn't been nice. Bruce, Bruce, come. Oh, look. Oh, not quite in. That was right at the end. <laughs> and just try and tell him that he's not always going to be trapped in there. Good boy. It's not a bad room. Keep the door open now, it's all the smells gone. So we'll cleaned up nice and fresh, hoovered, um, and let them know that every time we open the door, it was always not going to get trapped in here. We can just wander in, we just walk around a bit, and it's all okay. Yeah, it's all okay, isn't it? It's a steep learning curve, isn't it? For both of us. If you're watching this and you've got a family, I mean, we've got four kids, all young. Um, I'm glad they're away for a week, because last night, no one would have been able to sleep. If you're thinking of doing this, if you've got that opportunity, and um, we'll see at the end of the week, we will see if he's settled in at night, to a degree. I don't mind getting up, but we're crying continuously, hour after hour after hour after hour. And I'm still completely unsure of why he's pooing there. Was it just because he's lost his mummy and his sister, and it's all brand new? So tomorrow, or tonight, um, We'll see again, see how it goes, and then third night. If he's still doing it on the sort of fifth night, I have to know what I have to do. <laughs> Bring some people up, find someone that knows what they're on about, and see if it's normal. But I'm assuming it is. It's a bit like our kids, really. They're, they're crying when they first went to cots and stuff. Soon goes away. But ideally, I'd like it to go away within the week, but sometimes I suppose you can't choose these things before the family are back. That would be really cool. Okay, I just run Southern Side of Veterinary Group and they are open today but only for emergencies. So we've booked him in tomorrow at 9am for his first injection. And then we've got to wait three to four weeks until he can have his second. And then a week after his second, they're saying you can take him out in public care. So about a month-ish to a month or more until you can actually go out in a public place. So tomorrow it is, and we'll see how that goes. Quite relaxed at the moment. We just had a wee accident over there. We'd just been out, and then we just come back in, and then do the wee there. So just washing uh, all the pooey stuff. Um, hairs, obviously he's only a little puppy, so he ain't got much. And that noise isn't the dog. That is the, uh, oh, the water vacuum cleaner. trying to get himself stuck out of the TV camera, but uh, he's been lying down there for any hairs that should pick them up. Okay, just been out to Pets at Home, probably not the cheapest place to go, um, but got a few things. You were a good boy in there, you were, you were a good boy. Oi, I don't want, just because I've had some food. I've had some food, he hasn't had food. I wouldn't let him have any because I want him 
to know that when I'm eating, it doesn't mean he has to eat. And it's the same with the family, really. It's when the kids are eating bits and bobs. Um, we don't want him to think that he has to eat as well every single time they eat something. So, let me show you these... Ah! Let me show you these things. What you... Ah! Ah! Let me show you these things that... Um, I blooming love you. Uh, let me show you these things that we got from Pets at Home. Oh, I've got to shut the gates first. Let me shut the gates, stop you running out onto a main road, because that would be disastrous. <laughs> and then we get on with that. Yes. So, I've got one of these. Black on one side. You see? And white on the other. Nice and soft. I put it on the front seat. Didn't want it. Didn't want to lie on it at all, so I took it away. Um, so we're going to try that in the living room, I think, for the evenings. And one of these doggy bins. To I know, total waste of money. In, in not a complete waste, I suppose, but it's, uh, yeah, you can get cheaper bins. Um, this is just a tester. Let's try some of that in his Kong, along with one of those. Yeah, these are quite small, so I'm not sure if that'll work. Um, I've also got some of uh, the expensive food, which he's currently on. Don't want to change anything at this point in time. I want to go exactly as he has been doing, because he's been going on fantastically. So I just don't want to change anything. It costs a little bit more to start with. It does. But let's, let's keep it exactly the same. Cool. All right, mate. Okay, second thing I'm trying is putting the bowl in there, which is recommended sometimes, so you can eat in there. So he gets used to it. Doors open, come back out when he's finished. Came back home, let him out on the grass. And he weed on the carpet and then came back in. So, just gonna clean all that now. Ah, love it. Now, I'm in work. That's something I was really nervous about bringing him in. I brought that with me. It's quite handy. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, quite a, got a little warehousing around that side. That. My office is all the way down there, in there, and I'm just hoping he's going to be all right. It's something I'm quite nervous about going by last night's thing, so I can't crate him up because originally I thought to put him in the crate one at work to start with, but he's going to make an absolute racket, I suspect. So I don't want to put him in there for him to make a racket for me to let him straight out again because that might teach him bad things. Um, so I'm kind of hoping he's been for a wee before we left. Um, so I'm kind of hoping he's going to be all right. Okay. <sighs> and within about five minutes. Poo. Right, just cleaned up a wee. Uh, there's two wee so far, so one poo, which is over the other side of the warehouse, uh, one wee. Uh, and 20 minutes later, we got more poo. Oh, I don't know, I just don't know. don't know if it's right, wrong, don't know what's going on, but we haven't even been in here. And he's been an hour, and uh, he's pooed twice, weed twice. I'm not telling him off or anything like that at all. I'm just leaving it. <laughs> I'm not really sure I should tell him off or leave it. So I'm just leaving it because probably do more damage telling him off. I haven't caught him doing it quite yet. I just did then. Saw him crouching just as he was finishing off. And he settled down. Um, all the work's been completed. Well, more or less half done, ready for tomorrow. And he has settled down. He got tired out. It's about a mile and a half in total when you do all the picking and packing. And uh, he got a bit tired out. And he lay there. He's sort of learned not to even bother because I keep getting up, moving, getting up, moving, get up, moving. Constantly coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he eventually got fed up of it and thought, I tell you what, when you go away next time, I'm going to lie here still. Apart from two boos and two wees, you're very good for such a young one. Back from work, half past eight in the evening. So, a few hours there as a test run, basically, um, to see how well it was going to go. It wasn't really bad, but I think we're going to have to expect some poos on the floor and wheeze. You hungry? I think you are hungry, aren't you? Um, putting it in here. Ah, wait there. Oh. Ah. Right. Ready? Go on then. Good boy. We have been sat down watching TV and he's been having a little sleep and then I noticed he got up so I took him outside having a little bit of persuasion. You did a wee and he did a poo. Right. 
It's your Betty Boy's time. Okay, he's in. I'm going to take this away. And uh, the crying begin. So here we go. Oh, poor boy. Okay, it's 2.36 a.m. Um, I've just gone to let him out. And he, there was no poo and no wee in his cage. Which is good to walk into at 2.36 in the morning. Or 2.30 in the morning. Took him out. No poo. Didn't want to do a poo. Um, but he did a wee straight away. Which is good. I have no poo. And as you can probably hear. Um, he's on again. Um, anyway. Back to bed. Okay, it's 5.53. In the morning. He was making noise. Good boy. <laughs> so clean oh amazing well done good boy well done straight out stick for a little wee and now he's doing a poo good boy well done well done you're so clever wow what a successful day or well, night should i say sorry i'm not thinking straight <laughs> i'm actually but wow really good it looks like that tomorrow. All it is now is a noise. If you're living in a shared housing, I don't know, that'd be impossible, this. Well, unless you had uh, neighbours that were going to put up with the exact same torment. You're going to not initially feel when you're like, whatever it's called, when you're breaking them in. <laughs> when you're getting them used to being with you. Um, man, oh man, I mean, it is really loud. And it's just constant. It's on all night. I mean, it might be a five minute break every now and again, but that's it. Poor lad. You asleep today again? There he is, good as gold. Um, we are off to the vets. Books an appointment, nine o'clock today. First injection, poor little thing. He was very good. He had an injection. He didn't moan about it too much. 6.45 kilograms. Ooh, and, uh, oops, that's it. Could be a poo. He's just done a little wee down there. He's kind of a good boy. I think what he does is sign when he's not doing anymore. He just walks off up there. So we've had one wee this morning. And Michael, who works for me, has just found a nice surprise around the corner. It's been a successful day at work. Come on. We just got back home. Good boy. Right, it's midnight. I just put him in. Here we go again. Night number three. He's just gone out for a wee. Didn't want to do a poo. Love you. Good night. Oh yeah. Noisy. It's 12.30 at night. And he's not barking. He's barked for the last 15 minutes and howled. Now I can't hear him at all. Silence. I wonder how long that'll last. Well, my alarm's gone off at 3.30. Oh dear. And it's um, quiet as a, a little quiet place. So I'm not going to go down and wake him up. Okay, it's 5.17. We've got some noise again. Good morning. We got no poo. Good boy. And straight out for a wee. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. Go for the poo. Good boy. Good boy. One very, very good Brucey. He's done a wee and a poo this morning. And he didn't do it in his crate. I put him in the car to come and, and I'm go out and get something else from the house. Come back out. Hazards are on. <laughs> you turn the hazards on. Just out to a very little secluded spot when no one goes really. It's for a wee and a poo. Done well today, no accidents at work at all yet. 
We did come in a lot later though. It's now quarter to three, quarter past three. Fourth night, just literally put him in. Oh dear, we got an accident. Oh, that's a real shame. Oh dear. That is a shame. Didn't have an accident at 4 50 anyway. So there he is this morning. We have just washed up his crate because they're poo on it, which is such a shame. Didn't in the first waking up session. Um and now we're having a bit of a mouth, I've had to give him a wash. Shampooed him down. So what time did we have yesterday? Bed at 11.30, slightly earlier. Up at, oh, I've forgotten, four or something. Oh man, he's gonna be stuck in that now. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go and sort him out because now he's stuck. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, shh, Bruce, 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 Bruce. Bruce, calm down, calm down gonna injure yourself. Get that out your ear. <laughs> he loves it. He loves that bubble. Oh, he loves that bubble. He does. Fifth night. Good morning. Well done. Who's a good boy? Good boy. What clever boy? No noise. No noise. A oh, good boy. A oh, good boy. Well done. You're so lovely. Well done. Let's put him down. I just left him out. So no poo, no wee in the crate, and no noise last night. Well done, good boy. As you can see now, I can't see him. I got my socks on. I can't walk across there. So he's exactly in the position where I can't see him. <laughs> I can't see him. So I don't know if he's doing a poo or not. Good boy. He's doing a poo. It's as easy as that when it all goes well. So it's possible. Oh. So I think, I think now we've had that night, um, it shows what's possible. Um, we're having our kitchen tub, by the way. Oh, and I look a bit, I oh, don't know. It's been, it's been a tough opening week. Um, but last night showed it's completely possible. And he's been ever so good, really. Um, it's just the night time. <sighs> could have a nice long sleep, I could. I didn't want to push it this morning. Because... Mm. 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 Nah, ah, no biting. No biting. Oh. Right. Oh, what I'm doing, he's doing a little bit of nipping. So if he nips, I just get up and leave him alone. I don't have anything to do with him. But I want to demonstrate, really, what it's like, I suppose. What it's really like. <laughs> and it's yeah, it's it's hard work um to start with because you don't know him. They don't know you. Um and you don't know what to expect, you're never gonna get better or not. People say it's gonna get better and you at the time you're just thinking, oh my goodness. So if you are now going through this, there is hope. Um there really is. You just have to stick with it. Um but my advice is if you've got a massive family, like we have, um ah, ah, he's eating plastic things. Mm. Um, you try and do it when they're on holiday or something because <laughs> we are now that was the fourth night um, So and there's no guarantees I have told before they get back there's no guarantees he's going to be quiet every night like that but we know at least that it's definitely possible and he went from Sinera's age he went from midnight last night all the way to 6 o'clock I've set the alarm for 3.30 um, and it was really quiet so I thought well, I'm not going down to disturb him so I just left it 
and I let the door open so I'd um, be able to hear him. As you'd hear him anyway with the door closed, but just in case. Um, and no, he didn't make a fuss again. And then at six o'clock, and then he wasn't making a fuss either. So he would have got longer, but I didn't want to spoil it by something like having an accident because that'd be a real shame. So it's a, it's a perfect, perfect. Where did you get that from? The perfect morning and night. See, he tries. To, he's learned that I take things off him, and so now he walks off. He's like, I'm just going to go outside before anyone notices. It's just a piece of wood, isn't it? It's just a piece of wood. I'll let you have that. It's a piece of wood. Uh, no, I won't, because it's, it's... It's not like a solid... Is it a piece of pine? It might be a piece of pine. It might be a piece of pine. So, from me and Brucey, we're signing off this episode. <laughs> and it might be... I don't know when we're going to do the next one, but it will be just general. General stuff. Hash together. And then put into another episode. So we'll see you later. But this one's been all about settling in. In fact, I might call it settling in. Please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it, Bruce? We like subscribers and we like likes. Bye, everyone.